All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Ball and Whiff. Uh, today, we're going to do some sports bets for week one college football. Um, let's hop right on into it. This is week one, uh, Thursday, August 31st. Um, this is just the score app or website that shows. Uh, it's just a little article I clicked on that says um, college football week one best bets for Thursday night. Posted five hours ago. So we're just going to take a look at this before we put in some bets, guys. Excuse me, it's only about four games as well. Got a um, Utah ranked number 14 playing Florida this evening, so that's a good matchup as well. Um, let's dab right into this article. Uh, probably just saying some of the stuff about crazy. We want to kick off this weeknight. You know, uh, they're looking at one of the premier matchups. Utah minus four and a half versus Florida. The line, have you feeling like the time when you and your nine-year-old nephew talks you into – the ride at the fair that you didn't want to that didn't look all that sturdy. Uh, they just give in uh, analogies to sports bets now for articles. Um, let's see what this says. I do know for this game, Utah's quarterback Cam Rising is injured. Um, he's still recovering from his torn ACL from that Rose Bowl game. Uh, the spread has gone under a touchdown and climbed up to negative seven. Is back down to minus four. And that's not a good sign for Ryzen's availability. We'll have a market. Yeah, he's not playing tonight for sure. Uh, he's out. So that does give the Florida Gators a chance to win. Um, and I was looking at – oh, no, that's Utah. Utah, I think, runs the ball a lot. Um, they have a couple other running backs on the team. I don't know everyone's name, so don't get on me about that. Um, but this article has Utah minus four and a half versus the – Florida Gators. Uh, I'm more of a money line person. If you see that, I'll put money line. But I had my myself personally. I had Utah winning the game, the straight. I think it's gonna be a close game. You know how uh, it works. Week one, everyone's betting the the team that is ranked to beat the unranked team because that's a lot of people do. And uh, we'll see if that happens tonight and if it uh, plays a factor or anything. Uh, North Carolina State, NC State versus UConn. UConn is plus 14. They went 5-2 and two last year at home. I did check that. Um, and I do have UConn covering this spread as well, 14.5, but I'm not betting that 14.5. I'm betting North Carolina State to win minus 6 points. Um, just because I think it's going to be a close game. Now, if they're going to win by 6, why not just take UConn plus 14, right? Um, all things look at that, you know, will go off of that, right? Um, and then we have Nebraska and Minnesota. I think this is going to be a closer game than a lot of people think, too. I was looking at Nebraska's spread, that, that seven, uh, and I was looking at the, the stats earlier on college football. Let's just take a look at that as well. Uh, NC State is right here. They finished 8-4 and four last season. Um, actually, we're not even looking at them. We're looking at, who is it? Where does this article go? And Nebraska, we're looking at Nebraska and Minnesota. All right. Minnesota, not on here. What division are they in? It's over here. Minnesota, 8 and 4. Nebraska, 4 and 8 on the west side of the division um, of the Big Ten. Big Ten is. You know, the East is dominating, and this is the West. Um, Purdue, Illinois falls in line, but right in between Maryland and stuff, Michigan State, Iowa. They're all decent teams. Nebraska went 4-8 and eight last season. Um, so I don't think, you know, their division, they went 1-5 and five in the conference, 3-6. and six. So um, I do think they're going to lose the game. I think it will be closer than most people think um, as, as well. Like I said, that plus 7. I had Minnesota minus – um, money line as well, uh, and this is a look at a couple bets. This is just fifty cents here. Um, I didn't have too much to get paid tomorrow, but uh, just looking at the games, I want to show you guys something that y'all can post for or pick for tonight as well. I want to make it quick, quick, short, and brief. Um, these I just did some alternate spreads. Kent State plus forty five and a half. They are minus forty to win this game. I think versus uh, or plus forty versus UCF. Plus 35, actually. So I gave him 10 more points. Uh, 
over under is like 55. I gave them 40 over. Uh, and then I think Hudson is a player from UCF um, that I think will score. I think Jackson is a one of the number one receivers from Minnesota. I think he gets at least 25 yards. I think Minnesota wins that game. Utah win money line. Their receiver or running back, I think he's a running back, gets a touchdown, and they win by six points. Um, and that is plus 1,700. You put $100 on that, that's 176. Uh, and then I do have this spread here, 13-legger. Uh, a couple other people added in of uh, players to get some of the props, bets, and touchdowns. And that is that, guys. Quick little one-two video, quick five-minute um, video for week one. Uh, college football bets for Thursday night, August 31st. Guys, make sure you comment, like, subscribe. We got a lot more videos. I just dropped. I'm about to drop all 32 videos of week one for NFL teams over or under their total number of win games for the season. Um, so tune in, guys. We got more videos dropping sports, news, highlights, um, sports challenges, podcasts. Uh, we're going to be doing highlights for college high school athletes around the local area uh, for any marquee matchups, and we're going to be putting them on the map as well. Guys, follow their journey. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe again, and catch you guys on the next video.